Well guys, here we are. I just wanted to do a small update at the uh, the back of the polytunnel. Uh, it's probably going to be hard to see because most of the plants here are um, dormant so there's no foliage on them and it's actually quite a, a bit of a mess here as well. I, I really do need to clean this up. So what I've decided to do this year is take um, my uh, kiwi berry that was in this spot here and move it here. So I actually bought a new one. This is uh, the Isai variety. And um, I had it in this corner last year and it just didn't do too well. And I think it's probably for a couple of reasons. One is that um, I did have an Isai variety that uh, succumbed to vine weevils, which I had planted in the ground. So what I did was I took that one out, put it in the compost, bought a new uh, Isai variety and then dug out all of the vine weevil grubs and planted a new uh, Isai in there. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have just disposed of the soil completely uh, because halfway through the season, it just stopped growing and uh, a lot of the foliage died off in it. Now I actually ha I pulled it out of the ground and I stuck it in a pot here and um, it has actually come back. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's some uh, leaf nodes that are beginning to show here and they're green, so it's still alive. But uh, I'd managed to get my hands on another one anyway, which I decided to plant here. So why did I move it over here? And I'm wanting to get out of that soil too. I think this area was too sheltered and didn't get enough um, air exchange. So it gets quite hot in the polytunnel. And having did the mass of the compost here stop any airflow getting in there. So I decided to put it here right next to the door. And um, I'm going to allow it to grow up here and then across the top of the polytunnel. And uh, what I might do is do like a little polyculture here. We do get a lot of um, nettles that are going to eventually make their way in here. And, uh, and one of those plants for the polyculture is going to be the Chilean guavas. So um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I've had very poor success with Chilean guavas up until now. Uh, they've all been in pot and they all died in me. And I don't know why they died. I don't know whether it was pest pressure or disease pressure, but they're gone anyway. So these are being sold at the local garden centre and decided to buy two. So I have this one here, which is just your standard uh, Ogni Molinae. And I've decided to put it in the ground. Um, I've put it at the back here because it's cooler here in the polytunnel. Uh, we have a lot of air flow through here, so it should do better. Uh, this is going to be purely experiment. I, uh, I've had other growers and other commenters on my videos uh, saying that they do much better out outside because we have a, a cool temperate climate which is, which is what they uh, prefer apparently um, but that's that one and then I have my other um, kiwi berry which is the cans red which did much better last year um, and you can see how big it's gotten um, and I, I presume that's going to take off as well this year and I have another uh, ugly variety and this one's called red devil and uh, this one has a more of a sprawling habit you can see it's kind of more like a low ground cover I have a few of these at home and I have to say they're they're very very productive. They put out a lot of berries last year and they're very nice. You can see over there if you can the Molinae there has a much more of an upright habit. Um, so this is probably going to be a bit harder to harvest berries off but again purely experimental we just have to see how it goes and uh, hopefully they'll do much better being in the ground. I do have some more at home which I did a previous video on and I did put them on the ground. They got through the winter okay and they're still looking healthy so I think that's the way to go with Chilean guavas is uh, not to grow them in pots but in the ground but um, that's how they're looking now at the moment so Chilean guavas and kiwi berries will probably add some herbs and maybe some sort of ground cover around there maybe some strawberries as well just to keep them going. It is quite shaded here even in the height of the summer so it will be a bit cooler but uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, I'll be doing some more updates soon enough because we're uh, springtime and things are starting to wake up now. But uh, there you go. Take it easy, folks.